If you look round the leopard gecko's enclosure, you'll notice that the back and sides are entirely bare. Whilst this doesn't look too bad, it does prevent the leopard gecko from utilising all of the space in this enclosure because he can't climb up these flat sides. And so what I've decided to do is to try and make a background for this setup. With it already being set up, that is going to be a little bit difficult, but how I address those problems I will discuss as we get into the build process. So yeah, what we're going to be doing in today's video is trying to build that background for Speckles the Leopard Gecko's enclosure um, and I'm going to show you how I actually did it because I've actually finished it now uh, so you can copy it if you'd like but with that, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and let's get straight into the video. I knew that I wanted to make this background out of cork bark because it's a lightweight natural product but I couldn't just go about attaching cork directly to the enclosure walls themselves without stripping the entire bioactive vivarium down. So I decided to measure up the areas that I wanted to cover with background and cut MDF board to the correct dimensions to fill these spaces, ensuring that I left some notches for the vents. Now later on we'll attach cork to this MDF and then screw the MDF onto the enclosure to make our background. MDF cut to size, I set about painting it all with black, low VOC, water-based paint. This will just mean that any parts of the MDF that don't get completely covered with cork bark won't show through and then look obtrusive when it's all finished. You might also notice that I did actually paint a couple of the little offcuts here. Uh, that was sort of intended for another little project that I had going on, but the other little project didn't work out properly, so just forget about this. After giving the paint a day to dry, it was time to move on to the main portion of the build process. So what I actually did was I put the MDF up in a vise um, just to hold it steady. If you've not got a vise you can just get a second person helping you at this point. And then with it like that I chose different bits of cork bark to go on it so that I could create a sort of 3D series of ledges, hides and tunnels that my reptile can interact with. Now to actually get the cork to stay on the MDF all I used was a couple of countersunk screws going in through the back and also some Bondit HA6 aquarium safe silicone on some of the larger pieces. Now just a little bit of a tip for you here is to actually start off with some bigger pieces of cork bark which you'll see I was using because what you're going to end up doing is thinking that a particularly shaped bit of cork could go at a particular site but then you find out if you've just bought small pieces you don't actually have a bit of cork that's that shape. So getting larger bits does just allow you to break them up with a hammer or a saw to get pieces that you can actually use rather than buying small ones and just being stuck with IVR. So plenty of screws later, the background was finished and left for a second day to allow the silicone to cure. You might notice that around the edges of each piece of the MDF I actually purposefully didn't put any cork back there and all that was going to do was just leave me some spaces to put screws through the background to hold it onto the inside of the enclosure. I purposefully chose screwing sites so that you weren't going to see them when the background was fully installed and for those screwing sites that were at the base of the background I did just cover those with loose bits of cork bark um, and that was going to help the background blend into the rest of the enclosure too. So what we have here is the end result.
So honestly, I really couldn't be much more happy with that because as far as I'm concerned, it does look quite authentic and natural and it does just add a new dimension to the enclosure. And like I say, more importantly, it is gonna add a lot more sort of area to live on for Speckles the Leopard Gecko and also for the two female leopard geckos that I am planning to get pretty soon. Um, so when they're all in there together, they are gonna have more space to get away from each other if they so choose now. I suppose if there's anything I might change, it's that this enclosure is very heavy on cork bark, so it does just look quite brown. So I am sort of toying with the idea of maybe putting some air plants or Spanish moss around the background, just to liven it up with a bit of plant matter. But if you've any other suggestions like that, then please do tell me down in the comments. And you never know, I might get to it and do what you say. But anyway guys, I do hope that that has given you some ideas on how you can make your enclosures a bit more usable for your reptiles. Um, if you just want to go straight ahead and copy this entire design, why have I gone white? That's better. But yeah, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!